today here on Blue Shift Ministries. This is pretty much a continuation to my previous video that I made that you're not you're not bad, you're stupid. I want to go deeper into the trading floors in the spiritual realm. I am going to use three films that I think most people have seen and I'm going to use these three references and I don't want to but because many of you, I'm going to be brutally honest, you're not bad, you're stupid. You may need this kind of particular reference to understand a little bit better and what it means to be you're not bad, you're stupid. Because I have seen many people, very intelligent people, very beautiful, attractive people, good people even. I have seen Lucifer completely wrap them up and they do his bidding and they are not even aware of it. I'm going to go first with the movie, with the film first, Morbius, which was terribly difficult for me to stomach. I, I don't think I'll see that film again. I do not like it. I don't like things that um, consume blood. It was very morbidly disgusting, and I think the uh, title was very fitting. As we all know, at the box office, the superhero films have dominated the box office which we are all guilty in watching i am as well i enjoy watching the wolverine okay but however we need, all need to get back to reality again i'm just using this as a reference because i think all of you who saw the film are completely completely missing the point here remember the film how it started remember what happened we have to go beat by beat and step by step. And I'm going to do another film, another video on this where I'm going to be playing the film. I'm going to really show each aspect of it. Remember in the film where he went, he actually went to the country. I believe it was in South America. South America, I believe it was either, I think it was Venezuela. And what did he do? All of you remember the film. He went to a cave. He went to a place that was highly, highly dangerous. Even the pilot did not want to go there. He went there to retrieve something. What did he retrieve? He retrieved a certain element for his experiments. But what happened before that? All of you saw the film. You saw how he went and put his hand up and he cut his hand. And all of those abominations was attracted to it and he gained it. My children, that is a trade. He sold his soul. He sold his soul to the devil. Now, let's break this down beat by beat. He went to the actual country, so that means he could not do it here. He had to go to the trading floor. I'm going to say that again. He had to go to Lucifer's trading floor. The trading floor is that particular area in that country. The trading floor is Venezuela. The trading floor is that back cave he went to. Then, all of you perhaps wondering what is the significance of him cutting his hand? The blood. He had to place his bloodline upon the trading floor, upon Lucifer's trading floor. Do you not see it? In order to acquire what he wanted, he had to sacrifice himself in his bloodline. That means him and his children and everyone else is going on for that ride. You see what happened here. See, it does not matter what modern day time is no look at that ancient practice he took ancient practice there are many ancient cultures that cut their hand and place their blood their bloodline and make a pat you have to brothers and sisters in christ you have to be very careful pats pats are lucifer's trading floor that's lucifer slavery he made the pot. He traded in his bloodline. That's why he had to cut his hand. What is the significance of the hand? The hand is very powerful. The hand. You see the hand? We, have, we all have five digits. You see the lines of the hand and everything. 
the hand has a very powerful significance within the bloodline because my hand is my mother's hand. My mother's hand is my hand. Your hand is your father's hand. Your father's hand is your hand. Your mother's hand is your hand. And your ancestry and on and on is the bloodline. So you see, he put his hand there and he cut it. And he cut it right in the middle. You see, when you cut your hand in the middle, you're cutting your soul right in the middle. You're cutting a huge laceration in your soul so the devil could come in. And that's precisely what happened in that film. And then, as we all know, how the experiment went, it went terribly wrong. It went completely what he, it was completely unpredictable because that's what Lucifer does. Lucifer will give you whatever you want, whatever you want, at the expense of you, at the expense of your family, at the expense of your children, at the expense of your bloodline. And it has unpredictable results. You saw what happens in his transformation. He was transformed into the one he made the deal with. He was transformed into a bat. He was transformed into a vampire. Why? Because he had to take on the image of who he sold his soul to, of who he worshipped. I'm going to say that again. When you sell your soul, you have to take on the image of that particular, because now you're worshipping that God. That's why Father says the image, you protect the image. Stay in my image. But no, he sold his soul. He sold his image. He sold his family's image. He sold his children's image. He sold everybody's image. Because he placed his bloodline upon the wrong trading floor. That was a horrific, evil thing he did. I caught that right away. That was a horrific thing he did. And what happened in the film? He became a monster. Yes, he gained control of his abilities. Yes, he made a new kind of DNA. But at what cost, at what price? It wasn't worth it. He should have went to father about his ailments because obviously his ailments, obviously his sickness, obviously his disease has to do with the bloodline. He should have bloodline cleansed. Bloodline cleansing videos are right down below. But no, he took the easy way out. Instead of surrendering to Father, instead of repenting to Father, instead of submitting to Father, he chose to sell his soul to the devil. And at the end of that film, he became a freak. Nasty, blood-sucking pestilence. It's not worth it. And that's a very intelligent man. That's a doctor, that's a scientist. And look what the devil did to him. You're not bad, you're stupid, but because of your ignorance, you could end up doing very, very evil things. And you will not even be aware of it because the devil has you wrapped up. And the only way to see through heaven's eyes, you have to repent. You have to practice discernment. Question the spirit. Look through heaven's eyes. Ask Father, Father, practice discernment. Father, I'm suffering, I'm in pain, I'm in hurt. 